Welcome to question 12 of the 2007 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So the point P is a point on the line 2x plus y minus 10 equals 0, such that the length of OP, the line segment from the origin O to the point P, is a minimum. Find the coordinates of P and this minimum length. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a sketch of what's going on in this situation. So here's my axes x and y. And if we were to rearrange the equation 2x plus y minus 10 equals 0, we'd find that y equals minus 2x plus 10. So that line would look something like this. And it would have a y-intercept here at 0, 10 and an x-intercept here at 5, 0. And then there'd be a length here, which we'll call L, such that the origin from 0, 0 to the point P, which has coordinates x, y, but y could be written as minus 2x plus 10, is a minimum. So to find the length of that line L, we could create a right angled triangle, which would have a length of x and a height of y. So therefore, we would have L squared equals x squared plus y squared, but y is minus 2x plus 10 all squared. Therefore, L squared is equal to x squared, and then expanding this would give plus 4x squared minus 40x plus 100. And we could simplify that so that L squared equals 5x squared minus 40x plus 100. So L of course would be the square root of that expression, but if we have the square root of that expression the minimum is just when that quadratic is also a minimum. So we're going to calculate ddx, the derivative of 5x squared minus 40x plus 100, and that's going to equal 10x minus 40. And then we're going to set the derivative, which is 10x minus 40 equal to 0. And solving for that, we get 10x equals 40. So therefore, x equals 4. So next, we can substitute this x value into our equation. So y equals minus 2 times 4 plus 10, which equals 2, which gives the coordinates of the point P being x is 4, y is 2. So that is the first part to this answer. Now that we've got the coordinates, we could set up this triangle here, where we have this point here was the origin and this point here was the point P. And this was the length L that will be a minimum. And that happened when we had X is four, which means this length is four and Y is two. So the height of that triangle is two and that's a right angled triangle. Therefore, the length L is equal to the square root of, and it's going to be 4 squared plus 2 squared. Therefore, L is equal to the square root of 16 plus 4 is 20. And that means L is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 when we simplify. So the length L, when it's a minimum, is 2 root 5 units in length. So that is the second part that we needed for this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that 20% of students got full marks for this, with 67% of students getting zero marks. So the examiner commented that this was a very challenging question for most students, with many not knowing what they were required to find or how to go about it if they did. Many different methods of solution were attempted, the most common being the normal to the line. So the other thing we can remember is the minimum distance between the line and a point will intersect at a 90 degree angle or be perpendicular or as we used it the distance expression a common incorrect response was to find the axial intercepts of 0 10 and 5 0 on the line and then use the distance between two points to find 5 root 5 so that gave the distance between the axial intercepts not the minimum distance between the origin and the point P other common incorrect responses involved taking P as the midpoint of the line or guessing and checking solutions without justification. Incorrectly differentiating the distance equation or using an incorrect diagram were other incorrect responses that were seen. A number of students used a vectors approach to solve the problem, 
and some attempted geometrical solutions which were seen with varying degrees of success.